To the day's other news now and demands for Families SA Chief Tony Harrison to resign or be sacked after he was singled out for damning criticism by the state coroner. After an inquest into the death of Chloe Valentine, the coroner found Mr Harrison, a former police officer, had failed to follow the law. Trisha Ford often saw Chloe Valentine at this Modbury Park. Sadly, not to play, but so her teenage mother could drink with friends. The worried friend sounded the alarm several times with Families SA, but her concerns fell on deaf ears. Reported and reported and reported until you can report no more. We really all tried our best. We tried everything. Now she has new hope, with 21 recommendations by the state coroner to better protect children. The coroner singling out Families SA Chief Executive Tony Harrison for criticism centering around child protection law, which clearly states that if he, as Chief Executive, suspects a child is at risk as a result of the abuse of an illicit drug by a parent or guardian, he must apply for an order from the youth court. Mr Harrison appears to have concluded that it's impractical for the age to comply with it. The state opposition wants Harrison sacked. Tony Harrison and the department turned a blind eye to the requirements for drug assessments for these parents. It's completely unacceptable. Tony Harrison declined to be interviewed today but issued a statement saying he was preparing an urgent response to the coroner's recommendations for state cabinet's consideration on Monday. He didn't address criticisms levelled at him by the coroner or the opposition leader. And I have every reason to believe Mr Harrison is very keen to uh, uh, be part of the solution here. The Family First Party wants parents with a history of drug abuse submit to random drug testing or lose their children. And have no chance of getting that child back or those children back until they are clean. Kim Robertson, Nine News.